Hi guys and welcome to a well, something very special and very different as well. You know I like going back to old FIFAs when it's uh, getting to that drought point in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. Uh, and everyone's hit that wall now. I've hit that wall. I don't really enjoy FIFA. It's one of them weird things. So we go back to the old games. We have a bit of fun and uh, we make some content on it. Now, we are doing a top 10 teams of FIFA 12 in my opinion. These are the teams that I actually built on YouTube and I've gone back and obviously... Um, I got them now, so uh, that's basically what we're doing today. It's a little bit confusing, but it is pretty easy as well. Now, if any of you guys do want any Ultimate Team coins, do purchase any players on Ultimate Team, make sure you check out onefifa.com. Their link is down below in the description. If you use discount code BATES as well, you get an extra 5% off your Ultimate Team coins. They're reliable and instant. If you want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out g2a.com. Their link is also there. And if we can try and smash over 3,000 likes this video, guys, that would be absolutely awesome. So... 10. This is the like the tenth best team I used on FIFA 12. It, you'll see it coming on the screen now. We have Marlos up front. We have Inform Ronaldinho. We have I think it's that might be second or third Inform name. I'm not sure on that. Uh, Danilinho, the normal version. Cecinio at right back. It's just a Brazilian god squad. We, we even had Rubinho at centre midfield when he had five star skills. Um, and obviously that left back. We all remember that fucking left back. Azevedo. Absolutely ridiculous card. We had team of the season. Um, Dede, team of the season. Uh, Thiago Silva. And also inform Julio Cesar. And also Wellington, if you remember him at left mid. Now, I want you guys to tell me your best teams on FIFA 12 as well. And we're going to continue moving through the teams. Obviously, on FIFA 12, I've got no coins. I've lost all my players. I've got nothing, so I can't show you anything about. So we're just rekindling the love for the games and uh, going back to go through the squads. Basically, on my channel, over the next couple of weeks, we will see a lot of top fives, top tens, because you guys seem to absolutely love them. In the ninth position, we have a Serie A team mixed with some... Well, it's quite a nice, very very nice hybrid, actually. If you, if you look at the links, you could not build this team anymore. We have International Man of the Match, Casillas, 90 rated in net. Team of the Season... Uh, team of the season, Sergio Ramos. Team of the season, Asen Sao. Inform, Maicon Liete. That card cost a fucking shit ton, I remember that. To senior at right back as well. We have uh, the two Russian Italians, uh, Russian League Italians, sorry, in the centre back and left back. International man of the match, Perlo, who I did actually pack. Uh, El Sharari. Five star skills, five star weak foot, worth about 100k, but he was worth it. He could dominate teams uh, solo. Giovinco in the camp position as well, and also international man of the match, Ibrahimovic at AC Milan in the striker position. That is a very solid team. If you've ever played FIFA 12, you ever used Asen Sao, he had a crazy long shot. If you ever used El Sharari as well, you will know how good he is in Ibrahimovic. It just speaks for himself how good he is. So, with that said, guys, there is something which you may not know. Some of you may not have played the game. In forms, uh, like the black cards, they were actually the colour of the team of the years as well. So, Vidic had a team of the year and he was a black card. And the solid blue ones were team and season. But that's obviously changed now uh, as soon as we hit FIFA 13. So, moving on to the next team. This is number 8. This is a hybrid I went back and built um, when I revisited it last year. And it's got the likes of team of the season Hulk. Team of the season Gustavo. Team of the season Silva in there as well. Uh, Pepe. Uh, team of the season Ramos. Team of the season Ronaldo. 97 rated. Team of the season Sergio Aguero. Inform Kaká. Inform Tevez. That was a crazy fucking team. Not going to lie to you. Uh, if any of you guys do go back on the game as well and play it, let me know what you think of it. I... Uh, probably I'm going to have a blast in the next couple of days and have a, have a gander on it and see if it's uh, still as good as I remember it. Because it's been two FIFAs now uh, have, have passed since we've all played FIFA 12. Uh, well, mainly. Some people generally still play that game a hell of a lot. Moving on to number six. This is a dirty Bundesliga team. We have Inform Neuer, Inform Naldo, Team of the Season Hummels, Team of the Season Bastuba, I think that is. I may be completely wrong with that. International Man of the Match, Kuba. Uh, go, well, you see Gustavo again. Kagawa, before he went to Manchester United. Team of the Season uh, Schweinsteiger, 89. Team of the Season Ribery, 
and then look up front. We've got the Hunter in the striker position and we also have Mario motherfucking Gomez before he uh, obviously did depart to the Serie A. 92 rated striker, 93 rated Hunter lad, 90 rated Kagawa. This team was ridiculous. The two formations I did rock on that FIFA were obviously the 4-2-3-1, which you've seen already, and the 3-5-2. Uh, so obviously you're getting a big rundown of these teams now. Moving on to the final one of this episode, it is my BPL team. Team of the season, Bale. Team of the season, uh, David Silva. Team of the season, Aguero. In form, Drogba. In form, Drogba. What a fucking card that was. There's also in uh, Man of the Match, Gerard. Man of the Match, check them. Cards were super rare anyway. Uh, and a team of the season, back four with Walker. Imagine that blue Walker in FIFA 14. Now, we will be going fucking aids for it. And even take a look at some of the players on the bench. We were absolutely stocked up when we went back on the FIFA 12 hype. Uh, and Oxlade Chamberlain, obviously, was in form in the right midfield. He was actually a silver as well back then. So, that was my uh, top top five from the top ten so no that's I don't know but you know in the summer we're going we have uh, the countdown next week uh, well if we can try and smash over 3,000 likes guys we will do the uh, countdown for the uh, next ones in the next video that's five four three two and one and I promise you there's some sick fucking teams in there but these are all personal opinion these are the teams which I love to rock with but I want to know your memories your thoughts your teams your players and I want you to write them in the comment section below if we can try and smash over 3,000 likes guys that'd be absolutely awesome and yeah like comment and subscribe and until next time see you all later have a very very nice day Come on, work it, get a cup going.